I guess the, the I was probably about 12 or 13, which would have put me in the, in the, the middle 30s that I started. And I started by looking for arrowheads in, in the fields or along the Colorado River because once they were plowed and it had a little rain on it, well, arrowheads quite often would show up. And then, of course, I graduated from there up to the fossils that were uh, in this area also. And so I was, at that age, I was pretty well hooked on rocks. By the time Merritt Romans was 12 years old, he started collecting arrowheads in Lampasas County, which kick-started his love of collecting gems and minerals. Over the years, this retired elementary school principal has traveled the world digging and searching for the perfect rocks. In following his passion, Merritt has curated a collection that is larger than the Smithsonian. This collection is housed in his barn dominium in downtown Lampasas, and he loves to share with anyone who would like to learn a little bit more about rocks. I realized that I'm not going to make much of a collection if I stayed just with local areas, so I had to expand, and I did a lot of that in Texas, and, and uh, then in the summers we'd go off to, further, to other states, into Mexico, and finally into Canada, and, and uh, yeah, the, 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 the collection just got more involved all the time was probably the biggest problem. And uh, I, I'm like any other collector, I think all I want is, is what I don't have. And uh, so, so just, just putting the collection together was a problem, but a wonderful problem to have. It boils down to about 80 years now that I've been at it. Seriously, for, for, oh, I guess 60 years, seriously, I've been looking for rocks because it was, it would go, we, we, we went before I retired. I, I suspect that, that the state that I spent the most time in is, is uh, uh, Arizona. We would, and we would, uh, every year for many years, we went to Quartzsite, Arizona. I had all sorts of things to look for in Quartzsite. And there's supposedly as many as two million people go through this. The little town of Quartzsite, a small community of Quartzsite, in January alone. And they're all rock hounds from all over the country. They, they have RV parks there. They, 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 they park their trailers in the desert. and, and uh, and they set up, they've got several, several different dealers there, many dealers, and they also have uh, people like myself that might set up a table on the side of the road and, and trade. So we spent a lot of time trading. Actually, uh, Betty and I uh, belonged to the Quartzsite Club along with uh, a dozen other Texans at the same time. and. Uh, Went on their field trips, used their uh, machinery in and, and cabbing and, and opening rocks. Opening rocks, I mean by that, sawing them in too so you can see what's inside. Then from there, you go down to, uh, to Jasper, which is, a, the, uh, is, actually I call them softer rocks, which is not true, but it's, it, uh, it, uh, it's a grade down from, in hardness from from the quartz and, the, and, the, and then below that is chalcedony, which is also a quartz with a different pattern and different appearance. A lot of the chalcedony that you'll see that I have here is, uh, is, is from the Lawrenceburg area. We call, they call them desert roses. If they're small enough, as they get larger, of course, then they, they become uh, rose patterns of stones. And, and uh, yeah, they just got more material out there than they do anywhere else. In Texas, you very seldom ever find a rock that has a geode, and a geode is a rock that's hollow. And when you open it up, it's uh, uh, it's in the two parts. They were they were all geodes. All geodes were uh, uh, of one material. And when they were made, they were all mud at one time, and they hardened into that, and the crystals come together to make the pretty collection on the inside of it. But really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite content with what I do have, but 
yeah, if I have an opportunity to pick up or buy or trade one that I don't have, I will. Merritt Romans has been collecting rocks for over 70 years. His favorite thing to do is share his collection and knowledge. He has a sample at My Girls on the Square, or you can give him a call at 512-734-4552 to schedule a tour.